It's Thomas here, and today we're taking a look at Tropic Marin's NP Bacto Balance. I'll also touch on Elimit NP and Plus NP, so you know which one is right for your tank, because they all do it a little bit different. This is gonna be a fun one. Tropic Marin's approach to carbon dosing is a lot easier to be successful with. So if you're new to carbon dosing and you want the lowest risk you know, possible, highest chance of success, this one's for you. If you're looking to manage and maintain ideal nitrate and phosphate levels in your reef tank, while also helping your corals uptake the phosphate they need to thrive, resulting in healthier, more colorful corals and less nuisance algae with less risk than your typical alcohol, sugar, or acid-based carbon dosing, then check out Tropic Marin's NP Bacto Balance. If you've been on the fence with carbon dosing, Tropic Marin's approach is going to make it easier for you to get the results that you're looking for by giving you a clear path with less risk. So save your vodka for your martinis. Carbon dosing works by providing the phosphate loving beneficial bacteria in your reef with a food source that allows them to proliferate. And as a result, they pull out more phosphate from the water, causing the overall phosphate level in the aquarium to drop. That is a little bit of a simplified explanation, but that's it in a nutshell. Nitrates will also get lowered during carbon dosing, but I'm gonna to touch more on that in a little bit. The hurdle that most reefers end up tripping up on is that most carbon dosing methods don't use a carbon source that targets those specific beneficial bacteria, which means many organisms in the tank, including the nuisance algaes and bacteria we want to fight off, can potentially use the carbon source as fuel to grow. On top of that, carbon dosing is only really effective if those beneficial bacteria that we are targeting have enough phosphate in the water to actually use the carbon source we're providing them which means if you don't have any phosphate and you have nitrate, carbon dosing is not gonna work to bring those nitrates down. Tropic Marin's NP Bacto Balance allows you to carbon dose without the risk of bottoming out your nitrate and phosphate levels by adding not only a carbon source targeted to feeding those beneficial bacteria that consume phosphate, but also enough phosphate and nitrate to maintain those minimum levels required not only by the bacteria in your tank, but also by the corals, resulting in an easy to use, super low risk method of maintaining ideal nutrient levels for your reef tank. And in the process, you'll also be helping your corals get the phosphate they need by neatly packaging it inside of those beneficial bacteria, which they readily consume. And yes, your corals eat bacteria all the time. They love it. NP Bacto Balance comes in three sizes, 200 mil, 500 mil, and 1000 mil. And at the strongest recommended dose, that 1000 mil bottle will treat 25,000 gallons, which if my math is correct, means that a $35 bottle is going to last a mature 70 gallon reef tank an entire year. 35 bucks, 365 days, pretty good value. Like I mentioned, NP Bacto Balance is unique in that it is tailored towards the beneficial bacteria that need that carbon source to uptake those phosphates and helps prevent your carbon dosing efforts from benefiting those nuisance algaes and bacterial films that you don't want while simultaneously making sure that there are still enough phosphates and nitrates in the water to keep those bacteria productive and your other inhabitants like your corals healthy. When it comes to dosing, step number one is going to be to test your aquarium for phosphate and nitrate. NP Bacto Balance is designed to be used on aquariums with a phosphate level between 0.03 and 0.1 with nitrates somewhere between 1.0 and 2.0. The nitrate reading is a little bit more flexible than the phosphate reading, so if your nitrates are a bit higher, don't worry too much about it. You just optimally don't want them to be lower than that. Now, if your reef has gone ultra low on nutrients and is below those levels, or inversely, if you have much higher phosphate and nitrate, plus NP or Elima NP are gonna be what you're looking for. And I'll explain how they work alongside NP back to balance in just a bit. Step number two is dosing, and based on the age or maturity of your reef tank, you'll want to add up to 0.25 mil per 25 gallons daily for new tanks under one year old, up to 0.5 mil per 25 gallons daily for maturing reefs between one and two years old, and fully established tanks two years or older can receive from 0.5 to one mil per 25 gallons daily. You'll want to add it to a high flow area of the tank, like over a flow pump, shortly after the lights turn on for best results. But even if you forget to put it in the moment your lights come on, don't worry about it. You can still add it to the tank in the middle of your light cycle. You're not going to do any harm. 
I did mention that nitrates come down during carbon dosing, even though the phosphate is what those beneficial bacteria that you're carbon dosing for are really focused on. And that's because a lot of the organisms in your reef, corals especially, have an easier time taking up those bacteria full of phosphate than trying to pull phosphate directly from the water. And with the extra phosphate those filter feeders will be consuming, they'll also be consuming more nitrates, which lowers the amount of nitrate in the water. And my favorite part of this is not only are you keeping your nitrate and phosphate levels in your reef tank within optimal range and preventing those undesirable algae and bacteria from running rampant, but you're helping to accelerate your coral's growth and improving their overall health by giving them a much easier way to consume those nutrients that they need to thrive. NP Balance does have its limitations though. It's a carbon dosing method for somebody who's already pretty close to that optimal range. You're in that moderate level of nitrate and phosphate. So what happens if you're super high or super low? If your phosphate is really high, let's say well over 0.1, that's where Elimit NP comes in. It's the same carbon source as NP Bacto Balance, but without any added nitrate or phosphate, and is designed to get those higher levels down to that sweet spot. And once you're within that sweet spot range, you can switch over to NP Bacto Balance to maintain it. Inversely, if your phosphate is super low as an ultra low nutrient system, pale corals unregisterable on a test kit low, then plus NP is going to help get those levels up while also adding in that same carbon source so you can safely come out of that nutrient devoid stage and get your corals the nutrition they're craving in the process. And once you've got those super low phosphates up, you can switch over to NP Bacto Balance to maintain that optimum level. But if for whatever reason, carbon dosing just doesn't speak to you as a reefer, doesn't really jive with your you know, reefing mantra, then there are other ways that you can approach removing nitrate and phosphate from the system. And one tried, tested and true way that I've been doing for ever and ever is having a refugium, chucking a handful of Kato in there and letting that algae do all the heavy lifting. It's pretty hands-on. Off. Ryan actually has a phenomenal five minute guide video on setting up refugiums. You can check it out right here. So if you're new to refugiums or reefing, that is a great video to watch. Explains everything, keeps it simple. And that way you can decide, you know, do you want a carbon dose? Do you want a refugium? Or maybe both. I have a refugium and I'm still gonna be trying this cause I just can't get past that feeding the corals part. It's, oh, fringe benefits are my favorite. Check it out.